Christianity and Islam. Chrislam is making a significant change, switching and accepting Sunday as their day of rest. The second largest religion in the world is yielding to the Pope's agenda to enforce one world religion and the mark of the beast. Welcome to Truth and Bible Prophecy. Thank you friends for supporting this ministry. Kindly like and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned. This one is called Chrislam Support Sunday Laws. Islam is the world's second largest religion and has 1.9 billion adherents, making up about 24.7 of the world population. Most Muslims are either two denominations, Sunni, 1.7 billion people, or Shia, roughly 180 to 230 million people. Years ago, Pope and Grand Imam signed historic Pledge of Fraternity in UAE. The Pope and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar have signed a historic declaration of fraternity calling for peace between nation, religions, and races. In front of a global audience of religious leaders from Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and other faiths, Pope Francis, the leader of world's Catholics, and Sheikh Ahmed al Tayeb, the head of Sunni Islam's most prestigious seat of learning, showing their hand-in-hand -hand unity, a symbol of interfaith brotherhood. On July 13, 2022, Pope Francis addressed the participants of a climate change conference at the Vatican called The Resilience of People and Ecosystem Under Climate Stress. Pope Francis revealed the real reason for addressing climate change. His goal was never to simply provide clean air and water. His true goal is to bring all of humanity together in a universal communion with one another and with the rest of the world's creatures. In other words, a new world order and a mandatory day of rest for the sake of saving the environment. Francis is attempting to unite all the political, religious, social, and economic forces into one body. The Pope cited Laudato Si and Fratelli Tutti and gave these specific justifications for his message on climate change. There is no doubt, friends, that the addition of a strong Muslim voice to the chorus of Laudato Si would be a huge strategic asset. The new movement in Muslim countries to implement Sunday rest is modeled after Western Christianity, particularly in the Roman Sunday laws. You must look to the place from which it originated, which is Rome, whereby it has become a law of Sunday rest by Constantine in 321 AD. Muslims believe that the best day of the week is Friday. They believe Allah asked them to stop and take time for Juma prayer and then afterward go back to work and labor. But we see now a gradual shift because of the Laudato Si agenda. Sunday will be a day of rest in the Muslim state of Johor in Malaysia. The current days of rest for the Muslim state of Johor in Malaysia are Friday and Saturday. However, recent polls indicate that 95.7% of people support switching from Friday and Saturday to Saturday and Sunday for their weekends. Additionally, the majority of 44,290 teachers in Johor fully support the proposal for Sunday rest. Government officials were looking to review their days of rest and the feedback from this major Muslim community has voiced its support for changing the state weekend to include Sunday. The world is lining up and adjusting to the new economy which will recognize Sunday as a day of rest for everyone. In Johor, Malaysia, Islam is the official religion. For many years, Friday and Saturday were the days of rest. They now intend to include Sunday as one of their work-free rest days. Vatican News that VA says, EU bishops call for nations to protect work-free Sunday according to the network, which includes more than 100 national Sunday alliances, trade unions, employers, organizations, churches, and religious communities in the European Union. A full day of rest 
per week is indispensable to recover. Sheikh Amel Al Tayeb said he would work with his brother and friend Pope Francis to protect all communities. He said there is no alternative. We either build the future together or there will not be a future. Great controversy says the dignitaries of church and state will unite to bribe, persuade, or compel all classes to honor the Sunday. Political corruption is destroying love of justice and regard for truth and even in free America, rulers and legislators in order to secure public favor will yield to the popular demand for a law enforcing Sunday observance. The world will be compelled to accept the mark of papal Rome. During the Mark of the Beast crisis, which will be triggered by all these current Sunday rest proposals. In the ancient Roman Empire, Sunday was observed as a pagan day of worship. The Roman Church incorporated this into Christianity as well. The Catholic Church then began telling everyone to rest on Sunday and keep this day holy during the Council of Laodicea, 363 AD. The Catholic Church condemned anyone who didn't keep Sunday, but in instead rested on Saturday. Notice what they declared in the Council of Laodicea Canon 29. Christians must not Judaize by resting on the Sabbath but must work on that day rather honoring the Lord's day and if they can resting then as Christians. But if any shall be found to be Judaizers, let there be anathema from Christ. As revealed in prophecy, the second beast, the land beast, which is United States of America, will force all nations of the world to pledge their allegiance to the first beast, the papal antichrist. Prophecy clearly indicates that it is the destiny of the second beast to help the first beast recover its power. The land beast will exercise the authority of the first beast on its behalf, compel all to worship it, set up an image in its honor, and impose its mark. Everything this land beast thus is in the presence of the first beast. The land beast USA will help the sea beast, the papacy, recover its power by helping tear down three walls that prevent the papacy from exercising world dominion. The first wall is the one between Protestants and Catholics. The second wall is the one between church and state. And the third wall is the one between Catholicism and secular-minded worldlings. The papacy ruled under this worship or else system in the Middle Ages. Millions were persecuted and killed under this church-state form of government. Following this very act reproduces the image of the church-state form of government the papacy rules. And this is exactly what the United States will do. Last December 8, 2021, the United Arab Emirates conceded Sunday as a day of worship and rest. Slowly but surely, it took some time, but evidently, Pope Francis's 2019 first visit to UAE to appeal for Christians in the country was able to bear fruit and success. The UAE United Arab Emirates has agreed to recognize Sunday as a day of rest to accommodate the 800,000 migrant workers in the country. Country. Questions raised is how would Muslims support Sunday keeping? But now that question has found its answer and reality. Laudato Si Paragraph 237 Regarding Sunday, the encyclical states, On Sunday, our preparation in the Eucharist has a special importance. Sunday, like the Jewish Sabbath, is meant to be a day that heals our relationship with God, with ourselves, with others, and with the world. Rest open our eyes to the larger picture and gives us renewed sensitivity to the rights of others. And so the day of rest, centered on the Eucharist, sheds its light on the whole week and motivates us to greater concern for nature and the poor. The prophesied merge of Christianity and Islam, Chrislam, is now here and this unity is yielding towards one world religion. In the near future, these two giant religions will unite and compel people to worship a mandatory climate Sunday for the sake of saving the environment. But God always have a remnant in every generation, people that will represent Jesus Christ and will preach the three angels message of Revelation 14. Kindly type in the comment section, 
unity in the Word of God. Be faithful, friend. Stay faithful to the Word of God and will give the trumpet a certain sound. Fear God, give glory to Him, and worship Him.